Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I created this kind of half cut crease and I did like the little gold liner or glitter liner, I should say. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I really feel like I work hard with my videos and I try to put out the best content that I can just to make you guys happy and for you guys to learn what's best, I guess, or you guys to learn um, in the best way possible that I can teach you guys I guess I can say so if you want to see how I achieve this look then just feel free and keep on watching hi guys and welcome back so for today's video I went ahead again like I say in all my videos I went ahead and I primed my eyes and did my eyebrows off camera but to start off this look I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to go in with Rosiana as you guys can tell this is my favorite shade for transition I don't know it's just like the perfect transition color so I'm going to begin and I'm going to take my Morphe M502 brush and I'm going to take that and I'm going to first apply it to the outer portion of my eye which was, I'm going to apply it to my lid first and then I'm just going to start to blend it into the crease so that's pretty much it for the transition shade and then for the next brush, I'm going to take the B Bella NG332 brush. And I'm going to take the ColourPop and Isla Sarai palette. And I'm going to take, this is the palette Shiki. And I'm going to take this shade here. It's called Freckles. It's kind of like Rossi and it's just a bit darker. And I'm taking that one. And I'm pretty much just going to do the same that I did to the first shadow. Except I'm just going to keep this one a little lower and I'm going to go back in with that 502 and then just blend those edges out and then I'm just going to keep going back in with freckles just to add a little bit more depth and intensity Now I'm going to take, take a more tapered brush and I'm still going to go back in with that shade Freckles just because I want to add as much depth as I can with this color before I go in and I go in with the darker brown shade. And this is the B Bella NG344. And then with this kind of this brush, I'm just going to take it into the crease. I'm not applying it to the outside. So as you can see, just going in with this brush, it kind of added more depth and intensity. And then going back in with that other Bibella, I'm just going to blend that out. And then now I'm just going to go in with a more kind of bullet brush. And this is the Morphe M322. And then from the Alasarayi palette, I'm going to take this shade, which is Noche. Actually, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take... Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette. And this one, I'm going to focus it first on the outer part of my eye, just like that. And then I'm going to go in with that tapered one, which is the NG332. No, I'm sorry, it's the NG344. And without any product on that brush, I'm just going to go in and blend that out. And then I'm just going to keep going back in with Cypress Umber just to continue to deepen up. Okay, so now that that's pretty much all done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my concealer. I'm just going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Yellow Corrector. And I'm going to go in and do a half cut crease. So 
So now that I went ahead and I clicked the crease, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to smooth out the concealer so that way when I go in and I put that color on, it's not going to look patchy or anything. It's going to be a smooth surface. But before I go in and I do that, I'm going to take more of that Cypress Umber and I'm going to kind of blend it out onto the outer portion, kind of where I stopped with that cut crease, just to blend that out. And then now just to kind of soften it more up, I'm going to take that shade Noche with that B Bella NG344 brush. And then I'm just going to go over that as well. With that shade, I kind of brought it in a little further so now you can see it softened it up and it blended it out more. Now, for the color on the lid, I'm going to take the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm going to mix this dark, kind of like emerald green and this green here. And they're both matte shades. So I'm going to take this Morphe M422 brush. It's a flat shader brush. So first I'm going to take some of that darker one and then the lighter one. And then I'm going to begin by just putting it onto my lid. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take that darker one. And I'm going to take that B Bella NG322 brush. And I'm just going to lightly go over the kind of top of the cut crease just to kind of blend it out. And then I'm going to go on the sides and the outer portions of my eye just to blend it out. So she like to look something like that. And now for the star of the show, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. And this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. Actually, before I go in and I add the glitter, I'm going to take this B... Oh, just kidding. This Morphe M330 brush. And I'm going to take the black shade from the Kat Von D palette. And I'm going to take only a little bit of that product onto the tip because this black is really, really intense. And I'm going to apply it to the outer portion. Just to kind of give me more intensity. Now for the start of the show. I'm going to go in with this one. And I'm going to outline the crease. And I'm going to stop where I stopped with the cut crease. And I'll be back to show you what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do with the bottom lash line. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my face and all that off camera. I did this eye, this under eye off camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Morphe M22 brush. 222 brush. And I'm going to take Noche, which is that dark brown shade. And I'm going to apply that closest to my lower lash line. And I'm going to connect it to the outer part right here. And what I did, sorry, my boyfriend interrupted, so I forgot to record it. But I took um, freckles with that same brush and I just applied it underneath that shade. And now for mascara, I'm going to take this Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And now for lashes, I'm going to take, I'm not sure, of course, where these are from, but they just look like. So now that I went ahead and I put my lashes on, now for lips, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton. So that's pretty much it for this entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like how this look came out. I was... I had been wanting to do this kind of eye look, but I didn't know when. And honestly, I was—I don't know why I was waiting, but I was waiting for me to receive or me for me to purchase, I should say, the Jaclyn Hill palette. But I haven't got my hands on it yet, and I don't know why. Just when I seen that palette, I kind of wanted to create a look like this. But you know, you can honestly create 
the same look i created it using that a different palette so if you guys like how i created this look then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video